Hey guys, welcome back to Triple O Rusty Designs. In this video, we're making a red cedar epoxy charcuterie board. Check it out. Triple O Rusty Designs was lucky enough to partner with Ice Epoxy. They sent over some deep casting epoxy for us to use, and that's what we're gonna to use today to make our river table charcuterie board. So the wood we're gonna be using is an Eastern red cedar, and we're gonna pour it in this really nice silicone form from Crafted Elements. It's 18 by nine by two inches deep. Before we get started, I wanna thank Ice Epoxy and Crafted Elements for sponsoring Triple O Rustic Designs. If you're interested in learning more about these products and these amazing companies, click the link in the description below. For the sake of keeping this video short, we've already planed and prepped our red cedar. Now all we need to do is break open our box, mix the epoxy, add the color, and pour it in the form. This is the three gallon kit from Ice Epoxy. We got two gallons of part A and one gallon of part B. It's a two to one mix ratio. It's full cure time is five days. We have our form all prepped. Now we're gonna mix our epoxy. I'm gonna start off with 10 ounces of part A and then five ounces of part B. So for the colors for this project, we're gonna use the pigments from Rolio, and we're gonna mix Blue de France and Azure. All right, so we have the color all mixed in the epoxy. Now it's time to pour it and see if we need to make more. So that first 15 ounces filled out up about half of it. I'm gonna make another about 10 ounces and finish it off.
That extra epoxy worked perfectly. Now I'm going to use a torch to pop all the air bubbles. So we're gonna monitor the bubbles that pop up in the epoxy within the next 24 hours and wait five days until it's fully cured. And then we're gonna sand it down and finish it. It's in five days, so this should be completely cured. We're gonna take it out of the form, plane it, sand it, and finish it off. I'm about to show you why Crafted Elements is our go-to mold. The silicone mold is so easy to use. Watch this. Look how easy that was. All right, the planner worked perfectly. Now all we need to do is sand it down.
All right, we just finished our charcuterie board and it came out absolutely beautiful. Definitely exceeded my expectations. We finished it off with some black hardware for the handles, rounded the edges of the top, and then added a coat of the food grade mineral oil. Thanks again to Crafted Elements and Ice Epoxy for sponsoring us. We can't wait to see what other projects we can complete in the future. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you next time.